surface area of a cuboid. Just before we start, just want to remind you that there is a notes chart revealed for this video. If you just check the description below, you'll find a download link so you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so the first thing we need to really think about here is what does surface area actually mean? Well, the surface area is the area of all of the surfaces of a 3D shape. So we're dealing with um, the area of each of the uh, faces of that shape. If we were to flatten the shape out into a net, how much area would that cover? So what we've got here is a cuboid and I've colour coded the different faces that we can actually see um, just to make it easier when we look at the next step. Um, and so um, we have a cuboid which is made up entirely of rectangles and so we have the green shape at the front so we can call it front. We have the blue shape at the side so we can call it the side and we have the red shape at the top so we'll call it the top and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just finding the area of each of those shapes so the first thing we need to do is just work out what the dimensions are so for the front if we look at the green rectangle we would know definitely that the bottom is six centimeters but we need to know what the length is for the height um, and we need to look at our diagram. So we've got the six centimetres here. Now this length here, the height, must be the same as the height here. So we must have four centimetres for the green rectangle. If we look at the blue one, the side, well, we can see here that the bottom is three centimetres. And the height we already knew was four centimeters and finally the top now none of the dimensions are actually marked on the top they all come from um, other elements on the diagram so if we look at the length here well that relates to the six centimeters at the bottom um, of the green rectangle so we have six centimeters for the red and then we need to know what the length is along here now it looks like it's diagonal but that's just because of the way the 3d shape is viewed so that length is the same as this length and that means that it's the same as the bottom of the side piece meaning this must be three centimeters so from there all we need to do is we need to work out what the area of each of those shapes is so area of a rectangle is width times height so we've got six times four it's 24 and the units it's area so we have centimeters squared the blue one we would have to do three times four which is 12 centimeters squared and the red one finally six times three is 18 centimeters squared now that would seem like everything that we need to do but there is one final trick when it comes to surface area and that is dealing with the fact that there are more faces on this cuboid the front of the cuboid is paired with the back there is a second one exactly the same the right hand side is paired with the left hand side two rectangles exactly the same and the top of our shape is paired with the bottom of our shape exactly the same one so our front we had a an area of 24 centimeters squared well because there is a front and a back we'll need to multiply by 2 48 the side we worked out the right hand side was 12 but it has a left hand side as well so we need to multiply that by 2 it's 24 and the top we worked out was 18 but the top matches with the bottom so we need to multiply that by 2 36 we are going to have to add all three of those together so 
we are going to add all of those three values together. 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 6 is 18. 4 plus 2 is 6, 9, 10. And so our total surface area, and again, we are dealing with area. So surface area is centimetres squared. Okay, so we're going to try the same thing again, finding the surface area of this cuboid. Now, we've just been given the shape. There's no colour coding, um, just a cuboid as it is. Now, for you, as you're working through these questions, you may want to draw yourself diagrams, um, just like we did in the previous question. So, we might begin, once again, by just labelling the different parts of our shape. We've got the front, we've got the side, and we've got the top and so we could draw ourselves a picture of the front well the front is a rectangle we're just going to label it with all of the dimensions that are required so we know it is seven centimeters across and this is the same as this so we have three centimeters there so the area for this rectangle would be seven times three twenty one we could then do exactly the same for the side, draw ourselves a little picture. And so for the side, we have got two centimetres at the bottom and three centimetres at the side. And so if we do two times three, we'll get six. And then finally, for the top, we need to just check what our dimensions are. This length is the same as this length. So we have seven centimetres along the bottom and this length is the same as this one so it's two centimeters along the side so if we do the multiplication there seven times two will be 14. now a slightly different method to what we uh, did in the previous question what we can actually do here is add together the three uh, three faces that we know and then multiply by two because it's going to be exactly the same as times in each of the faces by two and adding together so 21 plus 14 plus 6 if i add them all together 1 5 11 2 3 4 so that is 41 41 times 2 is going to be 84 sorry will be 82 centimeters squared Okay, so in our last example, I'm going to try and do this one without the use of the diagrams. Can we just get the answer straight away from the diagram? I'm still going to label each of my sides because it does just help um, keep track of what we are doing in our working out. So we have the front and we have the side and we have the top. And I'm just going to use that so that I can write down what it is I'm working out. So the front is going to be this rectangle. It's six across and it is two up. So six times two is 12. The side, well, that is going to be a 10 by a two. So the side would be 10 times two is 20. And then the top, well, we have six along and 10 along. So the top is going to be six times 10 equals 60. So to get the total surface area, let's add those three values together. 12 plus 20 plus 60, well, that is 92. And that will only give us the surface area of the faces we can see. So the last step is we want to multiply by two to match it with the two uh, with the sides that we can't see. So 92 times two, well, that's going to be 184 centimeters squared. And so lastly, we come to the exam question. And this came from the Edexcel paper in June 2017, and it was foundation paper three. 
Now that does mean that um, we could use calculator if we need to um, as we go through this question. The diagram shows a cube of side length 2 cm. Draw a cuboid that can be made with 6 of these cubes. Write dimensions of your cuboid on your diagram. So the first thing we're actually asked to do here is to draw ourselves a picture. And we need to use 6 of the cubes to make a larger cuboid. So the easiest way of going about this to make a cuboid would just be to line up 6 of those cubes all together and so a little sketch of that would look like this and that's all we're interested in here just a sketch it doesn't have to be perfect um, it would help to be nice and straight though and if I have placed six of those end to end well that would mean that this dimension is still two and this dimension is still 2. But going across, that would be 6 times this 2 centimetres. So I would have 12 centimetres across. The second part of the question is now where the surface area comes in. It wants us to work out the surface area of our shape. So the one that we've created. So just the same as how we've done previously, I want to think about the front and the side and the top and so the front well that is going to be 12 times 2 24 the side well that is 2 by 2 and so we have 4 and the top well this length is the same as this one so that is 12 also and this length is the same as this one so that is 2 and so that is 24 if we add them all together 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12 2 plus 2 plus 1 is 5 so that's 52 but remember that's only the faces we can see so we do need to double that 52 times 2 104 centimeters squared now at this point um, that is full marks for the question but there is actually another way around of doing this and it all depends on which diagram you actually created to begin with so i just want to show you that one as well i'm just going to clear everything from here and now that we've cleared everything i just want to show you the other version of the um, diagram now the uh, cuboid if we wanted to put that together we could go with a slightly different format um, we could just place three of those cubes next to each other So we have a length of 6. Um, but in the other direction, I could have actually laid two rows of those cubes. And so in the, um, the length of the shape, it would have actually been two of these cubes. And so we would have had four and two high now just to make it clear what i've drawn there that is the six cubes like that now the surface area of the cuboid is probably going to be a little bit different this time because we've used different rectangles um, and so we'll go through the same process if i use the front well then that would be in this case the 6 by the 2 so 6 times 2 is 12 the side well in this case that's going to be 4 by 2 and the top well that is going to be in this case 6 by 4 which is 24 now if I add those together, 
2, 10, 14. 1, 2, 4. This time we've only got 44, but again doubled. 44 times 2, 88 centimetres squared. A much smaller surface area for that chip.